the format of the robot. Hello there, my expandons. It is your favorite malware and spyware, the one and only Purple Gorilla, the best Microsoft agent, your computer's worst but friendliest nightmare, Bonzi Buddy. And welcome, welcome back to part two of the Lost Bonzi Buddy TV show, Creepy Pasta. Today, I recently checked that my favorite swell pasta has been updated, and what's more exciting is that it includes a chatting website called Bonzi World. Also, along with a Japanese blog, to which I get in later. To be frank, Topical Studios used to visit Bonzi World between 2017 to 2018, and he had a lot of swell enjoyment over the site. He thought that it used to have e-speak voices for the users, rather than the true voice slash speak only of voices back then. Anyway, eSpeak wasn't even the perfect text-to-speech engine to begin with, since it could be the engine for Linux, which had a lot of free Windows and Mac alternative operating systems, like Ubuntu. By the way, you could get eSpeak for Windows if you go to the official SourceForge site for eSpeak and download the executable setup file and install a variety of voices from the language page. Also, it's virus-free, but I'm not. To let you know more about Bonzi World, let's get on with the first swell update entry. BonziWorld.com was a website where you could chat with people online as a Bonzi buddy. Each Bonzi had its own color, and you could change the color of your Bonzi by using one of the site's commands and typing in the color you wanted. The command was slash color. Using slash joke would make your Bonzi tell a joke, slash fact would make you tell a fact, etc. Created in August 2016 by a user called Hey Joe Way, Joseph Judge, it evolved into a yet another hug box for an underage go animate users with mental diseases. Shocking, I know. The site started to reek over the years, and eventually, even Joseph Judge realized that the site was too cancerous to stay up, so he unplugged its life support. But Joe did the fatal mistake of keeping the site's GitHub repository up, leading to the internet getting flooded with horrible reruns that ensure the site's continuity. The tale of Bonzi World continues with Spurgy. revivals going up and shutting down every six minutes with the spastics moving in and out of servers. I actually gotta love that Go Animate reference, even though Go Animate was rebranded to Beyond back in 2018, but still, some users make grounded videos over the years after its rebrand. I'm really sad that Go Animate or Beyond went even more money hungry nowadays. Now with that shit out of the way, and oh boy, this is where it gets interesting, sort of, I guess. Before the website died, a few users there knew about the story of the Lost Bonzi Buddy Show. These users did very deep researching on the show, and eventually they have found a Japanese blog talking about the show's pilot episode that aired on Nickelodeon's Japanese channel. That post even included a screenshot of the show being aired on the channel that had its logo, which is extremely rare. The following text is taken from the Japanese blog. April 5th, 2001. Today, the Nickelodeon channel aired a pilot of a new Nick Jr. show. It's called The Bonzi Buddy Show, and it's about a purple monkey named Bonzi. The pilot was about him and his friends going to find his missing bananas. I thought that the show is a good show. I like the animation and the design of the characters. I cannot wait for the other episodes. The episode was kind of funny, in my opinion. Whoa! That was more swell than I can imagine. Also, I'm getting pretty tired, and I won't be checking back on this page until there's a lot more to go for part 3. As of the last entry, I think of going to Japan and get laid with anime ladies and watch anime on a daily basis. Even Japan's capital city, Tokyo, had some good technology and games out there. At least the author is still improving on their writing, although the older entries still had some problems, but it's okay. I'm sad that Bonzi World, a club penguin equivalent to my malware and spyware predecessor, shut down due to unspecific problems and will remain in obscurity as of now, in 2023. It sure brings back memories as of this entry. Also, what if the site's not down yet? To conclude, this is my swell opinion, I don't care if you disagree with it, because we're all entitled to our own opinions. 
My final rating on the two new entries is a 10 out of 10 of swellness. Well, this has been Bonzi Buddy, the one and only malware and spyware, one of Microsoft Agent's unique characters that brings you this message. Sayonara, my expandons. I'll see you in part three.